inspired by the Starbucks egg white bites. I literally think I could eat another 10 of those. That fat-free whipped cream is a cheat code. First things first, let's cut into this. What's going on everybody? It's Jack, welcome back to this week's video. Today we are going to have a 1600 calorie day. We had a big cheat day this past week on the 4th of July. We're gonna cut the calories back just the hair. We're not starving ourselves. I don't even really have an appetite and it's almost noon already. So pretty much we're just gonna be filling the rest of the day up with some high protein, high volume meals. To start off, we're gonna be making some egg white bites. These are inspired by those Starbucks egg white bites maybe you had when you were a kid. Essentially what it is, it's vegetables and eggs cooked in a muffin tin, and they're super simple. What we're gonna need today is some spinach, we've got some mushrooms, pepper, we're gonna do a little bit of cheese, and then of course our egg whites. You can really use any combination of vegetables you want. If you added onions, carrots, cucumbers, whatever you like, but this is what I'm using today. So as a whole, we're gonna be using 45 grams of our mushrooms, 150 grams of our pepper, and then just 30 grams of spinach, and it goes a long way. We're gonna cut it all up, put it in this mixing bowl, add our cheese, egg whites, give it a good stir, and then lay it out in our baking sheet. But first things first, let's cut some vegetables. Now we've got all our vegetables cut up, our 45 grams of mushrooms, our 150 grams of peppers, and our 30 grams of spinach. We're gonna take a big mixing bowl, we're just gonna dump it all in there. Do a quick little mix with our knife just to stir it up a hair. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add our cheese. We're gonna do one serving of our Mexican style. You know, my go to. We've got 28 grams. Cheese in there. And now we're gonna use 400 grams of egg whites. There's our 400 grams of egg whites. And last thing we'll do, we'll give it a big stir and add some seasonings. We got everything mixed up, we're gonna add our seasonings. We got some salt, pepper here, and a little bit of this chili lime seasoning blend. Now we've got our egg white mixture with all our vegetables. You just need a muffin tin. We're gonna spray this down with some olive oil spray. Boom, give it a nice coating. And the best way I found to distribute the egg white mix is with a ladle, because you try to pour it out, the egg whites all fall out and you have vegetables at the end. So a ladle just kind of helps it be more even. So go ahead and do that. You wanna make sure they don't quite overflow because they will expand as they cook. But otherwise, yeah, just kinda distribute it throughout the muffin tin. This is the final product before we go in the oven. We've got our spinach, peppers, mushrooms, cheese, egg whites, seasonings, all that good stuff. We're gonna do throw this in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes, 20 to 30 really. Kinda of depends on the heat of your oven and how much you want to cook but I think 25 is a pretty good sweet spot. Alrighty, it's been about 25 minutes, let's take a look. Oh yeah, those are looking pretty good. You can see some of them obviously had more in them than others, but as a whole, these look really good. We're gonna set these aside, let them cool for three to five minutes, and then we'll plate them and eat them. Our egg white bites have cooled off a little bit, and now it's time to eat. First things first, we go with the macros. This is a super low calorie, high volume, high protein meal. It is 347 calories for all 10 of these egg white bites, 11 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and 54 protein. That is incredible. This is such a good breakfast. A diet cheat code. Of course, we gotta to top it with a little hot sauce. Cholula is my go-to. So we're gonna just douse those a little bit. And yeah, now we're ready to dig in. This is a great way to start off your day. High protein, not too heavy in the carbs. Plenty of volume to keep you full for a little while. And the best part, they're delicious. All right, we're done to our last bite. I literally think I could eat another 10 of those. They're so good. But 
This will end breakfast. I'll see you guys at meal number two. All right, just got out of the pool. The next meal we've got is pretty basic. Once again, it's gonna be low carb, just because I like to hold my carbs for later in the day. You'll see a snack I make before I hit my leg day later. But we're gonna be using some of this 99% ground turkey. It doesn't taste, obviously, as good as the 93.7, but the macros are just a little bit better, and I wanna keep my fat rather low. So we're using this. One trick I've been using to cook my ground turkey, though, is instead of immediately putting it in the pan and chopping it up, put it in the pan, let it sit there literally as a block, let it brown, let it really get some flavor building, flip it, and then start to break it up. So once again, hit it with some olive oil spray. We're at a medium low heat. We're gonna open this bad boy. Dun, dun, dun. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna drop it in. But we're just gonna leave it just like that. We're not gonna immediately cut it up. We're gonna leave it like this, let it cook for a good probably five to six minutes. Flip it five to six minutes on the other side and then chop it up. You'll see the browning that I'm talking about in a minute once that cooks. And then on top of the ground turkey, we'll also be using one of these steamable veggies. This is from Kroger. This is the California style vegetables. It contains broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Some super high volume in here. I'll be eating this whole bag. It is only 25 calories a serving. With four servings, this will be 100 calories. So between this guy and this guy, we're gonna make a meal, add a little bit of sauce, and have a secret little snack at the end. All right, so it's been up five minutes since I put the ground turkey in. Haven't touched it since, haven't flipped it, haven't moved it, nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it now. Just take the whole thing, boom. What you can see, there's a little bit of coloring. I honestly probably could have left it on that side a little bit longer, but you can see some of these like brown char marks. So that's just flavoring. So we'll make sure we get a good flip and char on this side. Yeah, so you can see along here, that's what we're looking for. These brown, basically these color pockets is what I'll call them. That little bit of charring is gonna add a whole lot of flavor. And make sure you do the same thing on the other side before you start chopping it up. So we gave the other side of the ground turkey four or five more minutes. Now it should have a good golden brown on the other side. So now we can start actually chopping it up, making sure it's cooked all the way through, which it pretty much already is. This is kind of just making it ground turkey. Once our ground turkey is actually done cooking, we'll go ahead and turn off the stove before we add our seasoning. I'll be using this taco seasoning from Kroger. Super basic, but tastes good. 20 cows a serving. I'll use about two to three for this entire pound. Get all that in there. And then pretty much we mix it up, add the vegetables, and we plate it. We have our vegetables and ground turkey plated up with a little bit of seasoning, that taco seasoning. We're also gonna add some of this no sugar added Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, just one serving, very little amount, just add a little bit more flavor. Snack, we're gonna have Jello. this is 10 calorie Jello, and then some of this fat-free Ready Whip, I'm gonna do just one serving, quick little boop, only five calories, as well as a Fresca, zero calories. As a whole, this meal is super low calorie, but high volume. So as a whole, this whole meal, including the sauce, ground turkey, vegetables, Jello whipped cream is only 375 calories. It is 11 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and 54 grams of protein. Once again, stick with the theme of higher protein, high volume. I'm saving my carbs for later in the day when I train legs. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna pack up a snack because I go to work and then the gym. I'm gonna dig into this first. We're gonna get this pudding out here. What I like to do, just take it as a whole, scrape it all out. There's always some left. Just into a bowl. I like to chop it up a few times. You don't have to. Completely up to you. Boom. Take that. You're going to take one little quick little shake and then just, just like that. Boom. It is so good. I mean, it's definitely a little snack, nothing big, but for 15 calories, it's the perfect end to this meal. Like I said, we'll do one little squirt of this barbecue sauce. Nothing crazy. Just like that. It's about serving. And last thing, like I said, our fresca. And then this will be lunch. We got our meats, veggies, high volume, jello, all that good stuff. When I go to meals, I want a lot of protein, but not too many carbs and fats. Also, you can kind of change up this meal. If you want to use ground chicken, if you want to use ground beef, you can. You can really use any vegetables you want. That Kroger starter packs, whatever it is, has a ton of frozen vegetable options. Peas, carrots, all that good stuff, peppers, onions. You can even use a little bit of sugar-free ketchup if you wanted to. 
You can use some salsa. You can really make it your own. We'll give this a quick taste test, just one bite for you guys. I mean, it's literally just jello and fat-free whipped cream. That fat-free whipped cream is a cheat code. It doesn't even taste any different. Mm. So good. Real quick, I'm gonna put together my pre-workout snack. It's gonna be on the go, because I'm going straight from work to the gym. So I'm gonna take two caramel rice cakes right here. One, two, put them in there. And then two white cheddar rice cakes. One, two. And this is my pre-workout snack. I'm also be having a bang or an energy drink without zero calories. Let me grab that real quick, I'll show you guys. I'm be having the Star Blast Blue Raspberry Bang. So this is my pre-workout after I go to work. I'm gonna snack on the four of these and have this bang on my way to the gym for leg day. I'm not gonna fill any of that, but I will come home. I'll do a physique update, some stuff in the gym. Just go over basically what the, how the cut's going, my progress, physique check, all kind of stuff. But I'll see you guys when I do that. Oh, real quick, I forgot about macros. So the caramel rice cakes are 50 calories. The white cheddar ones are 45. So that's 190 calories. Each one has one gram of fat, one gram of protein. So four grams of fat, four grams of protein. And each one has eight grams of carbs. So is that 32 grams of carbs. We are back from the gym. Killer leg day. I'll be lucky if I can walk tomorrow. We're gonna do a quick physique check. I'm weighing in at around 164, 165 pounds. Started the cut at 176-ish after my fast. So a solid 10 pounds, almost 11 pounds down. I'm gonna do a quick, honest physique check. Leg day pump, yes. Upper body, no. Yeah. Like. Definitely abs are coming in. The fleece are there. That beat taper. Definitely have a little bit left. You kind of feel it, pull it. But as a whole, arms are definitely leaned out. Shoulder separation. I'm not super vascular, but when I do get lean, I get some vein, especially when I have a pump. Get a little sodium in my system. Um, legs. Feeling pretty good. Got a little more separation on those guys. Back's feeling good. good definitely lower energy as the cut goes on the energy goes down we're feeling good feeling lean still have plenty of energy to get through a good workout through my day all that kind of stuff without further ado let's head to dinner for dinner I'm gonna make something super quick and easy maybe not super quick but definitely easy it's literally three ingredients we need some cheese we need two tortillas these extreme wellness high fiber tortillas the large version only have 80 calories in them highly recommend those pick them up at Kroger Walmart wherever and then a chicken breast, all I'm gonna do, season the chicken breast, cook in the air fryer, and then we're gonna warm up the tortillas, throw it on the skillet with the chicken and cheese, and make a quesadilla. Super simple, high in protein, an easy meal when you don't have a ton of time or energy to cook something fancy. We've now got our chicken breast seasoned on both sides. I'm gonna plop them in the air fryer. We're gonna do 12 minutes at 365 degrees. While the chicken's cooking, we're gonna quickly measure out our cheese. We're gonna use three servings of this low fat or reduced fat shredded cheese, Mexican style. It's my go-to. It is 80 calories a serving, so 240 calories of cheese. Boom, three servings of cheese. Now we've got our chicken cooked and finely cut up. You wanna make sure you don't have giant chunks, but rather almost shredded, but small cubes work too. Slight technique I use is, I like to use one tortilla, obviously for the bottom, but you're gonna warm up one side. Once that side's warm, you're gonna flip it, add the cheese, that warm side will help the cheese melt a little bit. Add the chicken, add the rest of the cheese, and then this last tortilla on top. Alrighty, so that bottom side is heated up. We're gonna go ahead and flip it, add about half of our cheese. Boom, once we have our first layer of cheese, we're gonna put all of our chicken on there, and then we'll spread it out. Our chicken's still a little warm, so we add the second layer of cheese. It should help it melt, so when we put that last tortilla on, it'll hold. Last step, 
Cover that bad boy up with that tortilla. Let's take it about three to four minutes aside. Be careful when you flip it. I use a hand and a spatula to make sure it stays together. I'll show you guys that when it's time to do it. I'll show you the best way I've learned to flip my quesadilla. Hand on top, spatula under, kind of press it down together, flip it, and then release the hand. There go, boom. Take it here. Whoop. Worked out pretty well. And our final meal is served. This is dinner. Chicken, cheese, quesadilla. I guess cheese is redundant if it's in quesadilla. Regardless, I did lie earlier. It's actually four ingredients. We've got some salsa on the side. This is five servings of just paste, medium salsa. Super basic, 10 calories a serving, can't beat it. Real quick, I'll read the calories for this entire meal. It is 706 calories, 40 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 86, yes, 86 grams of protein. Very high. And then quickly, I'll read the calories for the day since this is our last meal. Total calories for the entire day is 1617 or 1,617 calories at 201 grams of protein, 112 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of fat. I typically do not eat like this. I do not recommend eating like this on a consistent basis. I had a very big cheat day, probably in above 5,000 this past weekend. So this is kind of just like a reset, slightly lower calories. I'm not even that hungry to be completely honest. After today, we'll get back on track with our regular diet. First things first, let's cut into this. As far as the salsa goes, if you want to put it on now, when you've got it cut up, or you can scoop it, dip it, whatever you want. Personally, I'm a scoop as I go kind of person, so I'll have a slice, dump a little on there, take a bite. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. This is extremely hot, so I'm gonna have to let it cool down for a little bit. Regardless, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.